Hey, what is going on guys? Fly Hat here, and today I have something very, very different for you. I am playing the mod pack tech kit for the game Minecraft. Obviously, most of you or all of you are familiar with Minecraft. Mod pack tech kit is uh, something different. It's fun. It's there's so much different stuff uh, that you can build and make and use and have fun with, and it's just it's it, it's great. It's a, it's a great mod pack. I, I used to play it all the time. But anyway, I still I still play it a fair amount of time. But anyway, here is a tutorial on how to build this machine, which produces one red matter every single minute. If you're familiar with the mod pack, red matter is the highest EMC valued thing in the game. It's equivalent to about one of it, it's equivalent to about 40 diamonds. So here you go, you can see how fast this is going, how fast the craft is getting made. That was a diamond, that's another diamond, here's another diamond, and one more diamond right there. Um, but if you are familiar with the mod pack, you probably know that this is already very expensive because of these two things right here. These are dark matter pedestals, which uh, cost very much to make. But uh, let's get right into it, just so it's a fast tutorial. I'll turn my armor on so that I can fly, and turn the offensive on so I can strike the lightning. Okay, um, what are you doing in here? So here we go. Door glitching out. Here we go. First thing you need is 2D dark matter pedestals. Here is the recipe. If you don't know how to make uh, dark matter blocks, it's just four of these guys in a square. So there you go. That is how you make a dark matter pedestal. You need two of those. Keep in mind, two. All right. Next up, you need a gem of eternal density. Uh, five diamonds, two dark matter, two obsidian. In this order, uh, it's kind of expensive. Yet again, um, everything that you're going to make is uh, going to require dark matter, except for the chest. So you have that, and then you have your alchemical chest. Make sure that it is an alchemical chest. It cannot be any other type of chest, or this will not work. Um, that is because the when placed in the alchemical chest, this uh, gem gets uh, activated. If it's not the this chest, the gem will not get activated. So here's the recipe. Alchemical chest. There you go. This is a black hole band. What this does is when placed on the dark matter pedestal, it is going to uh, suck up all of the stuff and put it into the chest. Here's the recipe. And here is a harvest goddess band. That is what causes the sugar cane to grow so incredibly fast and break. So there you go. If you don't know what an iron band, how to make it, it's just uh, iron surrounding a bucket of lava or this thing if you have it. So let's go outside and explain how it works and then we'll be done. So if you want to build it, um, here are the dimensions. Right here is five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, and then you have uh, one diagonally, one diagonally, one diagonally, five, and then one diagonally. Um, so it's going to be five blocks of water, and then sugarcane on either side, too high, and then two sugarcane here, too high, two sugarcane here, too high, and then only one in the back. Oh, that was a leg spike. Only one in the back, because if you put more than one in the back, this chest will fill up rapidly, and then it'll all spray out. So, oh, uh, wait, I messed that up. Um, suck that all back up. Yeah. That was pretty much a, uh, an example of how this thing can malfunction. So, if you right click the goddess band, all the sugarcane will stop. Because the, the, uh, the dark matter pencil um, activates the, the ring. So, when you right click the ring, everything gets activated, and this ring causes things to grow rapidly. That's why you see these C's popping out everywhere. Um, so if you right click it, it'll stop. If you right click it, it'll go. But do not right click it if you haven't right clicked this yet, because watch what happens. If if this is running, this black hole band is sucking things up, putting it in the pedestal, and putting it down into the chest, which uh, getting can uh, broken down into denser items. So if you accidentally right click this, this is what's gonna happen. Everything's gonna start falling out all over the floor, and it's gonna be bad. I didn't want to do it for too long because it'll mess up my server. But yeah. And if you're going to build multiple ones, make sure that they're far apart, because if these two overlap, it'll cause the sugar cane to grow incredibly fast and overfill the chest, and the chest will flood out again. So um, here are the dimensions. Here's everything you need to see. You need to build the sugar cane on top. It looks pointless because it's not doing anything, but it is causing the sugar cane uh, to blow to glitch out and break. This isn't really supposed to happen. It is a glitch. Well, like watch, I'll show you. If I come in here and break this, and then break this piece of sugarcane, you'll notice that this one is no, is it grew, it's no longer producing anything. But if I go and grab a piece of sugarcane, let's get a piece, come on, come on, who wants to be the lucky winner? There we go. Okay, so if you go and get a piece, it will break and start going again. 
Ta-da. So that is how you build the machine, guys. Obviously, um, this is also all be done. This server is being done legitly, which is fun. We're getting far. I mean, I have this armor, all this stuff, and I have that machine, that crazy looking machine over there that uh, doubled all of my stuff. So if you want any more tutorials, um, like for a matter of fact, I have, um, I have a full blown um, nuclear reactor setup that's the best setup in the game. Uh, you can let me know in the comments and I'll do that if you want uh, any tutorials on this or these or this guy right here that fills me up with hunger if I fuel it. There you go. Or this guy right here who creates blocks. Like, here you go. I'll show you right now. Uh, creation mode. I'll put a glass block right there. And also, just one last thing. Uh, obviously, there is glass under here, but it's a connected texture pack. So it should be uh, one sugarcane, two sugarcane, and then a gap, and then the glass, and then the next level up. So that is how you build it, guys. Um, make sure everything is exactly as you see it, or else it will not work. Make sure the sugarcane amount is the same, the chest is the same, the pedestals are the same. Oh, oh, oh and I forgot to tell you, uh, to put the, uh, the ring on the pedestal, you shift and right click, and that's how you put it on. You take it, put it on, and then right click it to activate it. So it's the same thing with that. And to put the pedestal on top of the chest, it's a shift and right click and you'll put it on top of the chest. I'll, sh I'll actually, uh, I'll show you right now. So you shift, well, let me break it, get the pedestal, shift and right click, and then shift and right click again to put it back on. Okay, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed very much. Um, if you did enjoy, leave a like, and if you wanna see more tutorials, subscribe. But other than that, this is Fly High signing off, and I will see you next time.